Hey everyone, welcome back to RLCS Overtime. I'm Axel Toss on the desk again, joined by Final Carpet, Jane Spot, Quinn Lobdell. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. What an awesome show we've had so far. But we like focusing on kind of community type tournaments or tournaments that are not necessarily RLCS official. We, we still like talking about them. And there's one in particular that looks like a ton of fun called League of Rockets. Guys, talk to me about League of Rockets. Yeah, League of Rockets, they ran uh, the 12 Titans, which was something that was uh, just an incredible spectacle. The cinematics for that were amazing. And this time, they, uh, they're they coming out with the World Cup, the League of Rockets World Cup 2017. It's gonna be going on July 27th through 30th, starting around four o'clock Eastern. That's gonna be on Twitch.tv slash the League of Rockets. But uh, if you haven't seen the 12 Titans, then you should go watch that. What are you doing with your life? Yeah, what are you doing with your life? You it gotta get out there. Was, yeah, it was it was awesome. It was it's just really the cinematography is is epic. It's just a really epic yeah. thing. It's not so much focused around like the esporty tournament mm -hmm. side of thing as it's just like I'm a huge fan of Rocket League and this is such a cool Rocket League experience. Yeah, come look at some of the best players doing some incredible things in a one v one environment where you do get to see some of the coolest mechanics, goals, and, and tricks, and you get to see it in a, in a different light than you usually look and at. Like the slow mo Rocket replays yeah, with yeah. the whale sounds and all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Wait, how does it go? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like it. So it's Sorry. it's a spectacle. Carpet was it's not a production. Impressed. That's probably going to be clipped, which is great. Carpet, do you have a better whale sound? Uh, no, <laughs> no. They hit it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't even know Sorry. how you type I'll that. I'll leave that to chat. you guys. Yeah. Clearly, you've been practicing. So, <laughs> so this is, it's a great tournament here, and it's involving a lot of people, a lot of different countries. And it's, if, as you said, it's a World Cup. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't just stop at North American Europe. They're involved. I think Japan is involved. Brazil is involved. Do you want to talk about that card, but all these countries involved here? I, I mean, I just excited to see any kind of regions. Yeah, we got Australia yeah. in there. I think Japan and Brazil are the ones I'm super stoked to watch. Uh, we've seen a lot of really cool stuff come out of Japan in like the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. I think still my favorite play ever. It's like Realize and yeah. two of his teammates all freestyling and like some weird trifecta across a map. It bounces between all three of them like twice and then goes in the net. I don't care how fancy it was, it was actually still one of the craziest things I've ever watched. And that was like eight months ago. I haven't seen a team top something that was that cool. Yeah, realize um, it's awesome. Yeah. Those guys, and they're, they're all about the style. Yeah, they're all about style, but they're really, really good. And I'm super stoked to see what happens when they get maybe brought into the mix in the future of RLCS and Brazil. I mean, it's a, it's a, they, they love soccer. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's gonna be a pretty big part of it. Just in general, like it's a lot more culture for them to just enjoy and be a part of soccer and be raised around something around that. All right, uh, well. I'm stoked. And a lot of hype here. So it's time to choose your team. Who are you rooting for? There's a lot of options. Let's, let's go through some of the rosters well, I'm, not, I'm not going to try to be too biased. You're, uh, I mean, obviously, the United States is my favorite team. Well, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about United States. Let's look at that <laughs> roster. And this is great because, because you know, a lot of these teams <laughs> come from different areas and they're playing together. So, Kronovi, uh, obviously from G2, Garrett and, and Fiber, and there you have from, from NRG. And it's now almost have... Team Atlanta here because both Kronovi and Garrett G are actually from Atlanta. Oh, yeah, it's like Team East Coast, really. Fiber yeah. is in New Jersey. But this is, this is a really good team. We have... Uh, Kronovi, the captain of G2, taking uh, under his wing, or well, I guess maybe not that, selecting <laughs> rather, his rivals, Garrett G and Fireburner, those guys from NRG, you know, regional competitors, but here they're going to be allies trying to uh, get that win for the United States. Yeah, well, sticking with North America, let's look at the Canada roster. A lot of fun with these rosters in North America, looking completely different uh, with Jay Naps, Squishy Muffin, and Timmy. Yeah, and this again, yeah. you've got a little bit of uh, a stacked team here. All these teams in the World Cup, they really got the best of the best, the yeah. cream of the crop for this. Waypunk, Waypunk gave me a lot of uh, flack for putting Timmy as the dark horse on my on my dream team. But we'll see. Timmy, do me proud, buddy. <laughs> do me proud. We'll see. We'll see who's got the last word, Waypunk. Now we're going to move on into Europe. We have some more rosters to look at, starting with the Netherlands. And again, uh, so many different countries involved. You know, Scotland, uh, every country pretty much has a team. We've got Remco, Violent Panda, and Niels Cook, guys. What do you think about this team? And this, is, yeah, this is one of the teams we want to talk about because of Gale Force and Envious. Right, yeah. Remco and Violent Panda have been, I mean, we saw them, we know them for a long time now. Violent Panda especially coming to light in the past couple seasons, but they are on fire right now. Envious, the current world champions, and Gale Force, mm -hmm. team looking like they're going to be the next world champions, if you ask me. I mean, this is a absolutely stacked roster. I think this And then is, Niels Cook as well. Like, yeah, he, and Niels Cook well from Kalos. They didn't do the best in RLCS in terms of uh, their their series score, their victories. But Niels was actually a top scorer. I think he was like third place or very high up in scoring. So he is a, he's a great uh, offensive is, player. That's crazy to think about considering they were like one of the lower seeded teams that he still managed to yeah. make like top three, top five in striking. I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but 
that's even more impressive that your team usually struggles to get wins, but you're still able to put enough on the board as an individual to put yourself on the leaderboard. Yeah, maybe this is a big opportunity for him to you know, shine with Remco and Violent Panda behind him. Both those guys are very unselfish players and very, very good. Mm -hmm. It's a scary looking team, but let's move on here to England. Let's go and have some tea and crumpets oh, and talk man, about this English team. Gonna, you are gonna Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our <laughs> oh, no. oh, come on, oh. that's pretty good. I, I think could... I just developed some no. sort of guys. disease. Oh, that come was... on, guys. Oh. Guys, that was good. <laughs> I apologize on behalf of the RLCS <laughs> to every British person. I've, I've been been not <laughs> endorsed whatsoever. <laughs> I've been practicing that. I'm glad it's on North anyway, time zone. <laughs> we got Diva, Doomsy, and Bluey. I'll stop. Wait, I'll stop. What do you do? <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. Oh. What do you think no, about this please, team? please, continue. Oh, what no. do you think about this team? If, if they're as bad as your accent, they have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I'm it's probably one of the more fun teams. On a you summon. guys were making whale sounds earlier. Hey, that, I, I don't want to hear it. I'll we, give the whale sounds more credit. <laughs> that was closer to whale than that was to British. So let's put it that way. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to be rooting on Team England. Uh, but no, oh, no. To, to get back on the team, uh, Devo, World Championship <laughs> MVP. Yeah. You, so you can't count them out on that alone. Doomsy, everybody knows Sorry. him. Extended history. The biggest uh, dream crusher of yeah. all of the RLCS. Yeah, with Supersonic Avengers and then, you know, Reunited. And uh, also known for his incredible videos that he makes, uh, which are a lot of fun to watch. And then you have Bluey. He's a young player from England. He's very talented. Uh, he's kind of like a, a prime thunder, I'd say, from North America. Very young, um, still evolving as a player, but has a lot of talent. Yeah, I think this is also going to be Bluey's first RLCS season as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, right? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's just, young. I think he just became a Just cool. become eligible to sign up for the RLCS. So, this is going to be a cool opportunity to see him in some uh, competitive play. Awesome. Well, best of luck to all the teams in the League of Rockets. More on the accent later. Don't worry. I, I guess I have to do no, some refining. No, nothing I think it's more perfect. with that accent. You guys Please. need to calm down. Not Keep nothing. doing your whale it's noises. It's flawless, and I uh, hope you bring it back more. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Look out for it <laughs> during the regular talk season. Like that all the time. You have to tweet at me, and I'll do it during the broadcast of RLCS. Remember, remember I said that. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this segment, talking about League of Rockets. Definitely check it out. Huge shout-out to uh, Bad Panda and, and the whole team yeah, there. Bad Just Panda, Johnny, Johnny Boy, Boy, League of Rockets, and, they're all teaming up. And again, if, if you're out there and you're trying to think of something to do in, in Rocket League scene, you know, come up with something like this. This is the stuff we love to see. It's amazing, community-driven, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So check out League of Rockets. But uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back with more RLCS Overtime. Stay tuned.